Welcome to Mona Tutorials. In this session, we're going to be looking at live streaming in Mona using OBS Studio. First, we'll be looking at setting up our server, in this case, LivePeer. Then we'll be looking at setting up OBS Studio, which is a streaming application. Then we'll be looking at linking the stream to Mona and then starting the stream. Let's jump in. So to stream in Mona, we need a couple of tools. First, we're going to use OBS Studio to stream something from our desktop. Then we're gonna put that to Live PS Studio, which is RTMP server. And then we're gonna grab a link from that and put it into Mona. First thing we need to do is sign up to livepeer.studio. So L-I-V-E-P-E-E-R dot studio. So for that, all we need to do is sign up here. So go to let's go. The usual sign up uh, approach applies here. So email, password, a little bit of information and then verifying your email. I've already done that, so let's jump in to see the dashboard. So once you're in your dashboard, note you have in a free account, you have 1000 minutes per month to apply, which is quite a lot. I think that works out to be about 16 hours or so. But first, what we need to do is go to streams here. Now I have this here, so I'm just going to remove that. So to remove a stream, once you get to it is you could go that and just go delete up here like so. If it's the first time in live peer, you'll have create stream here, which is what we want to do. Uh, let's call it Mona stream number two, whatever you like. Now the main things that you're looking for here are the stream key, the RTMP ingest URL and the playback URL to under that. Once you click this, your stream key will be viewable. So keep that in note if you're streaming and showing out how to do this and make sure that no one sees this key. Otherwise they can take over your stream. So reveal and use the copy buttons to the right here. The other tool we need as noted is OBS Studio, which is a fantastic streaming tool. And basically look to search for OBS. So we want obsproject.com download the version you want. So in my case, I want Windows, but if you have a Mac or Linux, you can use those. Now, of course, I've already installed it. So feel free to go ahead and do that. So that there. Uh, now, this is what I stream with. Now, usually if you're starting OBS for the first time, this will be a lot uh, simpler. For example, I have a lot of scenes that I can jump between uh, if I wanted to. Each scene has a bunch of sources, such as the desktop image, uh, you can put text, you can put images, you can put a webcam, you name it. Over here you have audio mixer. So this applies to the audio you've got to make sure that you've actually got inputs going in. Uh, make sure that it doesn't, doesn't go up to red because that's not great. Uh, scene transitions is just how it transitions between these two by default. And then you have these tools down here. Now, there are lots of resources in YouTube. I will put some links below in regards to good sites that I found to learn all the best settings for your streams. Uh, but today we're just going to set up the stream for Mona. Once you have your scenes and your sources, for example, a default desktop or a webcam, you can then go over to settings. Now, the one we want is stream, and we actually want this one here. So up here is a few different services. We want custom. And then we use the two sites addresses that we pulled from the live peer website. So the URL goes here, RTMP, uh, livepeer.com slash live. And then you have your stream key, which you would post here. So let's grab those. Don't forget to grab the RTMP ingest URL as well. Paste. And then make sure to press apply. Next, we want to go to output and tweak a couple of settings here. Now, depending on your graphics card and things like that, uh, you'll have to choose which is best for you. I have an RTX card, so I believe the 264 is the best. These are my settings that I've pulled up from other tutorials, but the main one that you need to look at is keyframe interval uh, two seconds. So make sure to apply that if it is not already. If some of these settings are not available, you'll want to put this to advanced and then you have access to that. Now, depending on your bandwidth and your computer and all of these sort of things, these are all the settings that you can play with. And once again, those are covered in other tutorials that we'll link below. Uh, once again, if you change anything, set apply, and then we have okay. Now the time you use on live peer using the home button 
will be based on when you use the start streaming button in OBS. So as soon as I go start streaming, this number will start going up and stop streaming in OBS will make it stop. So let's jump into one of the Mona spaces with canvases so we don't waste any time on our timer. Now notice that the cursor changes when you roll over this. To link a stream to a canvas that's already been linked, you will have to unlink it first. So let's do that. And then go link. And then as you can see, we can do live stream here. So let's do that. Some information, title, artist, and description. Uh, if I wanted to, I could make this to link. So if I click on the stream, I can go to a website. Uh, in this case, I don't actually want that. Live stream there. Now, this part is very important with streams. So note how it has .m3u8. This is the only link that goes in a stream. Uh, you cannot use a Twitch stream directly or a YouTube stream directly. It needs this particular link. And for that, we can go to our stream. And we have this here. So playback URL, da 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 da, m3u8. So copy that, put it in our Mona link, like so. You can use uh, fit media inside canvas or scale canvas down to media size, depending on what you want. So for example, fit media inside canvas will kind of crop what isn't needed to the canvas. And in this case, it will scale down. So the bounds of the canvas will be the maximum size and then it will go down otherwise. The active stream, if I turn this off, it will make the canvas invisible. And when I turn it on, it will make it visible. Another note is you can only have one stream in a space. Otherwise the bandwidth would get considerably high very quickly. Make sure to start streaming on OBS Studio before hitting the link canvas. Otherwise you may have issues. We can go to our live PS source and see the health of our stream here. The other thing you can do is check health here. So we have our transcoding and our real time uh, giving us the feedback that we would like. So if we go back to here. Okay. So notice when we press link canvas and it is now streaming, it will now work. So when we go to preview, there it is there. Okay, and as you can see, it has a link down the bottom, and then we have the live stream with the links if we want to. But as I didn't put a link, it doesn't go anywhere. Don't forget to stop the stream in OBS Studio so you don't waste time on your live peer subscription. And that's it for streaming. Have a nice day and happy building.